giving me the old eye roll right now. All right, so the SUV is all packed up, ready to go. It's Friday, we're starting off on our trip. I have a video of this SUV bed platform that I made um, for the SUV. I have a video on that, so check that one out. I'll link it to this video as well. So we're gonna be on the road in about five minutes. Everything's packed good in there. Our backpacks up there. All right, see you on the road. Thanks for clicking onto my channel, Simply Outdoors with Shauna. So we're just here at the Algonquin Portage Outfitter store and we're going to get uh, geared up for our canoe and sized up for our paddles. So let's head on in and um, we're going to start our journey. All right, we got our paddles and our firewood all packed up, ready to head to the next location. Where are we going to the next, uh, going to the campground? Yeah, we're going to the Sand Lake Gate to check in. Right. Then we'll be going to Accra Camper. Sweet, and that's where they'll drop off our canoe. All right, so we made it to the Accra, 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 Accra Campground. So we're just gonna go find our site. Our site is 11. So we're just gonna go down here. There's the outhouse, so we'll be close to the outhouse. This is 11? And yeah. it is. Yeah. Alright. So this is 11 right here. I'm going to back the truck in right there. on the tag. Huh. I'm going to do a review on these chairs after this weekend so I'll get you the name and all the specs. Bring you in closer to see this. So, you have a spot right here with the zipper to put to put anything you need in the little zipper area. Look at that, and you got a little pouch area to put everything you need. So when I design this platform for the bed, I have where we have all storage underneath. You'll see that in the video and I'll link it to this video. So I wanted to be able to build a table that slides out, but unfortunately I didn't have enough time to do that build. So I, I was thinking, what can I use that would be able to be a portable table that would come in and out and fit right underneath the bed platform? Now, I know Tracy's not going to like this idea, but I think it's pretty genius. So I'll show you what I have. So 
these are all my window shades that go on the window. I'll do that a little later. But this fit perfectly underneath the bed platform all the way up. And you'll see what it is in one minute. It just slides right out. And what I liked about it was you can put it at any level that you would like. You can put it at a level for cooking. You can put it at a level, move it down so you can sit and have it like a table. So I'll just bring it back a little bit and then you can tell me what it is. That's completely ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, so it just simply slides right underneath the whole bed. And now I can stand, I can do my cooking, I can do my prep, I can put my cutting board right on here. And it's also metal, so if I have anything hot, like a hot pot, I can just hot pan, my cast iron frying pan can sit right on here. So it's pretty cool, so watch this, I'll show you. So now I can bring it down to a level, not that far down. <laughs> I can bring it down, bring the camera down for you. So take a look at this. And she says I'm not a genius. So then I now I have it at a level where I can sit and I can also eat. So I think it's a perfect idea. So I don't even know if I'm gonna do that wood platform that folds out. I think this is pretty genius. It's a ironing table and I wasn't using it at home. I bought it at Salvation Army for $3.50 and I definitely wasn't ironing, ironing at home. So I thought it was a perfect idea. She's giving me the old eye roll right now. Tracy picked up these nice little Matching thermos tumbler. tumblers. Cheers. Cheers. Nice. I'm mm -hmm. having a nice Laker red. It's an amber beer. She's having white wine with club soda. Mm. All right, let's sit and relax for a bit. Mm -hmm. Nice little bed area. So I'm going to be putting these up soon. All the little blackout. Just made out of um, Bristol board. I made these. Cut them to the size of the windows. So under this way too, lots of storage. Just going to put uh, Tracy's life jacket back under there. Then I have a curtain that goes across with little mini lights. There's Tracy up there. I got the French version of the Algonquin flyer, so she's reading the French version right now. Let's see how Belle is doing. Belle, how are you doing? Wanna come over and sit down? Come on, I'm gonna sit down and enjoy the sun. Come, a drink. All right. We're sitting close to the fire just because the sun is here. It's way. Here we go. Enjoy a little bit of the sun before it goes in. Yeah. So for tonight, it's Friday night. We're staying at the Actry campground, and then tomorrow morning we go get the canoe and Tracy will explain our route. So we're leaving right from here, from the Grand Lake Acre Point, where the 22 is. And we're going to canoe down Grand Lake through this tiny little inlet and the Barren River and into Stratton Lake. Nice, and that's a nice little long little stretch, eh? Yeah. Basically going to canoe all of Stratton Lake. We need to figure out how long that is. Um, and then we're going to take this tiny little inlet right here. So it's an inlet, not a portage, that one? Well, it turns into a portage. Okay. The waterway, there's like this little tiny river that we're going to take. Mm -hmm. And then it hits land. And then there's a 50 meter portage 
right there, hmm. right where that red line is at the, and it says 50. Not too bad. And so then we're on St. Andrew's Lake. And basically once we're in St. Andrew's Lake, we have our choice of any of these red tent campsites. No way. Nice, right yeah. on the so water. So basically there, uh, right on the water. And then our plan will be to canoe to the end of this lake the next day and hike into camp or hike into High Falls oh, yeah. for the day. If you guys have never been to High Falls in Algonquin Park, it's a, it's a must on your bucket list. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's like a, it's like an oasis. It's like a water park in the middle of, middle of what? Middle of the forest. forest. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. Thanks for explaining our route, Tracy. Yeah. And a town. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> okay. I think we've been here maybe a half hour. And let me see. Val, show me your face. Why are you turning away from the camera? Because you're embarrassed that you're all... She is so turning. Look at this face. Already dirty. Pine needles. Hey, hello. Bella. Look at the camera. <laughs> she will be, she's nice and white right now, but she will be black. Bella, do you want to go? Where do you want to go? She will be black by the end of this weekend. Okay, so I have them all. I have all the window coverings cut to the size that we need. So I'll show you how they all they're very simple to fit in. Basically, you can tell with the shape which side it goes in. There's a there's like a little lip around the window that it just all fits in. All right, so I did the back one on that side. Move over. All right, so there's the first window coverings on the back. And there's another one. So now we'll just do the two side ones. And then I have a curtain that goes across the front. Okay, so I'm going to put the window coverings on the doors. And I have a screen that is installed. So when you want to put the window down just for a little ventilation. So that one goes into place and the screen is along here. Just put the window down just a little bit. Now we'll just do the other side. Okay, so now we're gonna put the curtain up. I just hook it into these little coat hanger hooks that we have mostly in every vehicle. So one ring hangs on there and it goes around the front of your seat. Then I have an extra little piece that I attached that just hangs down to cover all the lighting coming from the front windshield. So I'll go around to the other side and I'll hang it onto that hook as well. So hooks up in here. I'll show you that. Right up there. So then I just have a tack that I tack the middle of the curtain. Here. Now that's just to keep it off of our head. So I just take it and I pull it tight 
and tack it towards the front. There, just one little tack. Pull it all down and behind our knapsacks that are being stored in the front of the vehicle overnight. So we have all the room, we have all the room in the back. So there we go, there's the curtain. I'll put the lights up and then I'll show you. So there's the uh, home sweet home for the night. We didn't have to unpack our tent and set it up. So I thought this would be perfect because our tent's all packed. A little twinkle lights. There we go. Okay, so Tracy got me a bag of peanuts out and I heard this, this god awful noise of this screeching and I'm like, what is that noise? And here it was, this little red squirrel just chirping, chirping because he wanted some of my peanuts. So we just threw about four to him and he's like in heaven. All right, so Tracy's going to make our favorite, our black seal rum. And we brought our little flask. I picked this, show me the flask there. I picked that flask up for $1.50 at the Salvation Army. And it comes with a little insulated little pouch it's kind of uh so it doesn't break i wanted a glass one because i had uh what do you call a steel one i guess and stainless steel, stainless steel. and i couldn't get it clean enough this one has a bigger opening where i can clean everything out put it in the dishwasher so it's perfect so she's going to make us rum with ice yahoo we better get the luxury before we start going on the canoe to the back country Tracy, what did you forget? We were driving here and I said, I feel like I'm forgetting something. And you're mm. like, no, no, we got everything. I'm like, oh, I just have a bad feeling. What was it? I went into the cooler and I forgot the cheese. The cheese for this. For our epic nachos. Oh my God, they're not gonna be epic no more. <gasps> but you know what? We'll just smother them with sour cream. And salsa. And salsa, and it'll be perfect. Still be good. All right, so we don't have to melt much. <laughs> Okay, and another thing, we thought we didn't have a corkscrew. And Tracy and I bought these sporks off of Amazon. Oh, actually, I got these off of Wish. One night, midnight, Ooh. I'm laying in bed. I was Googling stuff and Wish came up. No, you have to pull it like that. I think I'll do it. Just till on. She's going to break it I off. can't do it on the wobbly ironing oh. board table. So anyways, so she says, doesn't our spork have a wine cork? And I'm like, oh my God, it might. Okay gonna have to cut this short I'm gonna have to open that wine one minute she's very cute but not that strong oh, it's ripping. You gotta put it all the way down let's try that so Tracy's saying my little uh, ironing boards wobbly it's very wobbly. I think she's wobbly. Mm, it's <laughs> wobbly. Yeah, so we have these little portable um, dish pans. They pack down to nothing. I love them. Pretty awesome. You can fit quite a bit of water in there. Oh, here, I'll give you this to see this. Mm -hmm. Just to put the dishes on. Cool. So just move that stuff that you just sat on nice and neat there. Mm -hmm. I'm the cleanup crew mm -hmm. when it's cooking time. 
I like it that way because she makes epic food. So even though we didn't have cheese for our camping nachos, we just put lots of sour cream and salsa and they taste delicious. They turned out pretty good. Good work. Mm -hmm. So we're on the Jack Pine Trail and there's supposed to be a little lookout to the water here. So we're just going down this little trail. Oh, it looks like a, a little beach over there. Oh. Cute. Let's go see what it brings us up to up here. Oh, here it is. Oh, here it is. Tracy's gonna Tracy's gonna be able to read what Jack Pine Trail means. Oh, come on, no way. This is beautiful. Look at this view. Just hold on. Check out the view before you start reading. Look at that. My god, I wonder if that's the pine tree right there that he did, that he painted. So Tracy's So we're tell. standing at one of the most famous sites in Canadian history. Here in 1916, Canada's now legendary landscape artist, Tom Thompson, sketched a gnarled old jack pine with the hills on the west side of Grand Lake in the background. The following winter, Thompson right worked that sketch up into his most celebrated canvas, the Jack Pine, which now hangs in the National Gallery of Canada in Ottawa. Wow, that's awesome. It's so cool. Did you get a picture? Yeah, so Tracy and I are doing a lot of little adventures this time around because we're canoeing and not doing a big hike. So, the Jack Pine... Amazing. So there's the tree. This is his painting. That's his painting. That's amazing. Nice. soon. It's bubbling. We picked up this whole milk powder. We're gonna try this. I like milk with my oatmeal. You just add water to this so I'll let you guys know how it is. Good morning, coffee. The sun is shining nice. It's going to be a nice day on the water. Good morning. Oh, yeah. so just to let you all know, you have to wait 
till the powder dissolves. So it eventually dissolves and it tastes really good. Tracy's making our favorite uh, outdoor camping breakfast. Breakfast hash. And a sausage bacon, peppers, egg, and potato. That's our first hearty morning breakfast before we set off on our canoe trip. Bella had some bacon, eh, in your breakfast? All right, everyone. Well, we're cleaned up the site. Everything's cleaned up nice. Don't need to have any garbage around. And we're all packed up, ready to head over to the area where we put the canoes in. So let's get this day on the go. Uh, so we're just coming to get our canoe now. And Tracy's all excited. Her name's on the canoe. <laughs> Tracy, oh. Uh oh, they spelled her name with an E. Yeah. Well, I said watch out for the tree. <laughs> you bonked the tree. Bonk. You hold it. Hold it. I guess I should this way. Yep. As long as you don't hit anyone. Well, nah, we'll go like this. Okay, ready? Okay. 